Today we're looking at Palm API, which is Google's generative AI model, and we can use it to generate some text content, some synthesized data, or even create a chatbot. Before you get started, make sure that you create an API key. You can go to Maker Suits and create an API key right here. Once you're done, you can download Anaconda Navigator. If you already have it, just open it up and go to Environments. You can click on Create right here to create your own environments, a new one. You can write the name here in the field that says Name. You can usually leave the default value here. In my case, it's Python 3.9.16. You can leave that. And then once you type a name, you'll be able to create it. So if I type something like Sample here, you see that now this Create button is active. I've already created my own environment. It's called Palm Env for the Palm API environment. And once you've created it, you can click on this Play button and open the terminal. Once you do that, you'll get access to a terminal which is already connected to your environment as the active environment. So here you have Palm Env, which is the name of my environment in between parentheses. And that's where I install all my dependencies. If you want to use the Palm API, you need to install the Google Generative AI package. For this, you need to run pip install and then the name of the package. The name of the package is Google hyphen generative AI in one word. So once you run this command, it's gonna download all the modules for this package. It doesn't take too long, so just leave it. And once you have this, you need to install Visual Studio Code in your environments. To install Visual Studio Code connected to your Conda environments and Python, you can go back to home, make sure that you are actually on your environment here it's selected to the one that you created. If you look at your dashboard here, you will see the software that you can use with your environment. If you scroll down, those that I have not installed have an install button below them, and the ones that are already installed have a launch button below them, meaning that I can launch them and start working in them. If you've not installed VS Code yet, you will see an install button here. So just install it, wait for a few minutes, and then you will see this launch button here. Once you launch it, you will have Visual Studio Code like this. And if you look on my screen down here in the last bar where you see UTF-8, Python, and so on, you will see Python 3.9.16, and then in between parentheses, palm env colon conda. So that's the name of the Conda environment. Now for this tutorial, I've hidden my API key. I've actually exported it as an environment variable. You can look up on Google how to export environment variables in Python or in your Conda environments, and then you can come back to this tutorial. 